What's up, everybody? It's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke. And a weapon that keeps getting suggested for my Does It Suck series is the Kitten. The Kitten is a unique Vladoff assault rifle that is one of the Moxie weapons that you can acquire from DLC 2. The red text says we're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. And that's obviously an allusion to um, the Cheshire Cat in um, Alice and Wonderland. And as you can see, it shoots in this unique smiley face pattern, much like the cat has. Now I'm using um, Precision at the moment, which is tightening up the spread just a little bit. And we're going to use it here in the Washburn Refinery and see how we do. Now obviously this is a very popular weapon with Krieg and the Hellborn build. And we're going to use it here with Zero and see how we do. Um, this weapon is definitely not going to suck. I've never really used it on Zero, but if I had to guess, it would be one of the best assault rifles to use. It's just going to be very, very, very powerful, and, uh, you know, definitely a good weapon to use with Boar because of its unique spread and, um, unique spread and multiple projectiles and high fire rate and everything. It's just going to be a weapon that works out very well with Boar. In addition to that, um, the spread on this weapon is one of the things that usually makes it a little bit difficult to use, and obviously Zero can tighten that up quite a bit by using Precision. You'd probably also use a Calm that boosts Precision, and that would work out real well for you. Now obviously this weapon does have significant healing potential because it is a Moxie weapon. I'm boosting the fire rate and critical hit damage of it here with my chaotic evil rogue calm and that's making it pretty damn powerful with the uh... healing potential you can actually stand in the pocket a little bit with this gun and really lay into some enemies which is nice we're gonna see how well it takes out this badass that's gonna be up here and i think we'll take him out pretty easily but we'll see now it's only just a few days until borderlands 3 sequel comes out i guess we're under a week now and that's good stuff because I'm definitely excited for it and I hope you guys are too um, I've decided what I'm gonna do is actually you know just kind of uh, record the entirety of my first playthrough and path to the level cap which is level 50 um, as far as I know and um, originally I was just kinda gonna rush to level 50 but I figure I'll have plenty of time at level 50 before they raise the level cap and hopefully release Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. I'm very, very worried about the game being too damn easy when uh, it first comes out. Obviously, that was a huge problem with Borderlands 2 when it was first released. Um, the first level cap was just abysmally easy. Um, you know, True Vault Hunter mode, level 50, was just so incredibly boring to me personally. Um, and I hope that's not the case for Borderlands pre-sequel, but I'm sure it will be. So, that'll be something to watch out for, and since I'm going to have to spend so much time at level 50 anyway, um, I don't see any rush in getting there as quick as I can, just for the sake of making videos. I'm going to uh, take my time, you know, getting to level 50 and enjoy it a little bit. And then, you know, as uh, I get to level 50 and stuff, I will do, I'm planning on doing, um, you know, weapon guides for all of the unique and legendary weapons that will be in the game. And also, um, you know, quest guides and boss guides and stuff like that. And obviously, I'm going to be playing Athena first. The um, gladiator character, I think, is what they called her path. And I'm definitely excited about Athena. I'm going to go with that middle tree and see how we do there. Um, the Rind skill looks interesting to me. I think we should be able to come up with a decently fun little build uh, revolving around that. Ah, that guy got knocked to the ground. So, um, the kitten's been doing so well, I haven't even really needed to talk about it. Um, and that's pretty cool because, you know, it's exciting to have a weapon that is really strong that I've never really used before on Zero. I can imagine that the kitten could be a very popular weapon, um, but I don't really see it used too much on Zero. There are just, you know, so many options out there for him that... This isn't one I see commonly brought up, but um, 
if someone said it was, you know, one of their favorite weapons on Zero, it definitely wouldn't surprise me. Because this weapon so far has performed very, very admirably. And, uh... It's definitely, you know, doing well. It looks like we got a badass in here and a hot loader. So we'll get to those two guys in just a second. Um, yep. Hot loader and badass. We're going to go ahead and deal with the hot loader first. Got back above health gate a couple times there using the healing effect of the kitten. Um, I'm a little bit irritated that that hot loader was never um, able to catch slag, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So even with the kitten's unique spread um, and, you know, kind of unwieldy spread, if you have points in precision, the spread's actually going to be tight enough for you to hit the critical spot you're aiming for, and that's really nice. Well, I think we've had enough exploders in this room, but, um, you know, whatever. So, as you can see, we worked through all of those enemies very, very easily. Um, I'd say that this weapon is quite ammo efficient. Obviously, you're getting three bullets per round of ammunition. And, um, assault rifles obviously have a pretty deep ammo pool, so that works out pretty well. Sweet. So we're getting near the end of this video here. I guess I'll go through to Pervy and we'll see how we do against the four-player mode enemies with this particular weapon. And then see, you know, um, about cutting the video off there. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. So this is going to be the toughest part here where we go face these four-player health um, and damage loaders and mini boss in this next room obviously getting to this gate um, activates four player mode and you can tell that because I don't need SMG ammo right now but I'll still pick it up so that's something to watch out for we're gonna go ahead and run in here again you know I don't need shotgun ammo right now I wouldn't imagine do I No. see I didn't need shotgun ammo when I picked it up anyway and so um, all these loaders that we're gonna face now are gonna have heavily increased health and heavily increased damage so that'll be important to note as we're working through them so now that we've got these guys uh, nice and slag or at least you know this guy back here is um, we'll be able to take these guys out and we'll begin working through the rest of these loaders back here Staying above Hellgate right now with the kitten, which is good stuff. Yeah, this weapon is really, really powerful. Um, I'd actually highly recommend it as far as an assault rifle to use with zero, especially if you wanted that, um, you know, healing effect of it as well. It's just a very strong weapon to use. Unfortunately, I did not bring a shock version of it, so we're not going to go test it against Hurley. But, um, I think, you know, so far the test has been pretty conclusive that the weapon is quite wreck. So, obviously, the kitten does not suck. Um, like I said, I've seen it, you know, used as a um, popular weapon on Krieg. And to an extent, Gage a little bit, which I thought was kind of weird because Gage, you know, obviously has accuracy penalties. I actually recommend this weapon quite heavily now, um, you know, even though this was only my first time using it on Zero, because of his um, skill, Precision, which tightens the spread. And that's pretty nice, because that's the only real drawback to this weapon, is that, you know, it can be a little bit inaccurate. So as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.